Catherine, the Princess of Wales, might be getting ready to wear a tiara for a special event soon. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to get all our daily royal updates. Early on Tuesday, Buckingham Palace made an announcement that South Korean President Yoon Suk-yil will be welcomed to the UK for a state visit in November by King Charles and Queen Camilla. Although specific details and the date have not been disclosed yet, it's highly likely that this official visit will include a state banquet, potentially featuring tiara-adorned guests, the statement read, the President of the Republic of Korea, His Excellency Yoon Suk-yil. Accompanied by Mrs. Kim Kyon, has accepted an invitation from His Majesty the King to pay a state visit to the United Kingdom in November. The King and Queen will host the state visit at Buckingham Palace, Drawing from past traditions and a subtle hint from Buckingham Palace, it seems probable that the upcoming visit will involve a state banquet. According to the royal family's official website, state visits typically commence with a ceremonial welcome from the king and other members of the royal family at Horse Guards Parade. Afterward, guests are invited to inspect a guard of honor before proceeding to the palace in a carriage procession, accompanied by a military escort. Typically, on the evening of the arrival day, a grand formal event known as a state banquet is held in the Buckingham Palace Ballroom. This event usually sees around 150 guests invited based on their cultural, diplomatic, or economic connections with the visiting country. Notably, these grand occasions traditionally involve a white tie dress code, including tiaras for the female members of the royal family in attendance. As for Meghan, it's unlikely that she will wear a tiara again. Her only opportunity to attend a state dinner while in the UK was for President Trump, which she and Harry declined due to their stance on Trump. This decision raised questions about their diplomatic role, as members of the royal family are typically expected to remain neutral in diplomatic matters. However, Meghan's refusal to attend effectively ended her chances of wearing a tiara in such a formal setting. She has also been prohibited from wearing any royal jewellery since, there's speculation that Meghan might attempt to draw attention to herself during the Korean president's visit, possibly by engaging in an activity related to Korean culture or cuisine. However, it remains uncertain what her specific actions might be. Previously, Princess Catherine and Queen Camilla donned tiaras for the state banquet during the first state visit of King Charles's reign in November 2022, welcoming South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to the UK. Catherine wore the Queen Mary's lover's knot tiara, while Queen Camilla chose the Belgian sapphire tiara, which once belonged to her late mother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth. This marked the first public tiara appearance for Kate and Camilla in three years, largely due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As the British royal family hadn't hosted a state visit since the visit of then-US President Donald Trump to the UK in 2019. More recently, in June, Princess Catherine graced a tiara for the banquet following Crown Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa of Jordan's royal wedding. 